So Erin, what's your biggest pet peeve? I have two major pet peeves. Two, huh? Yeah, um, I really can't stand watching people litter out their car, or litter in general, but like when I watch people toss a cigarette out the window, lit cigarette, chaps my hide. Ew. Um, or, you know, I see people like open up their car door and maybe they've got like a cup full of chew or something and then they just pour it out. It's like the earth is their trash can sort of mentality. I don't know. It's an arrogance thing and I can't stand it. What's the second one? Uh, people who don't have cell phone etiquette when they're on a date. Ooh, it sounds like a personal experience. You know, <laughs> one time and one time only can I honestly say that I had an issue with a guy I had never met him before. Probably didn't help that he showed up two hours late because mm. that kind of already like tainted my view of the guy. But then there was the cell phone issue. He had it. We were at a very, very nice restaurant. Had it on the table as if it were part of just the table setting, you know, knife, fork, spoon, cell phone. And he was constantly looking at it the whole time. Took a phone call once, made a phone call a second time. And I understand sometimes you have to take a phone call. It's an emergency or something. If you're a brain surgeon, which Maybe. he wasn't. Maybe. Okay, he was no brain surgeon. But then go out into the lobby or something. I mean, this was one of those fancy restaurants where they scrape the crumbs off your, you know, your placemat kind of thing. So I'm guessing no second date. Oh, no, there was not a second date. <laughs> well, hopefully he's not watching, or maybe hopefully he is and he learns. I, I told him flat out that's why I wasn't going out with him the second time. Brutal. I love it. Yeah. Well, good to know. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah. <laughs>